Hey guys, my name is Emil and you're watching Techno Right. What's going on guys, welcome to Innovate Technology and it's done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix the Windows Update Error 0 times 802.48.007. So it's quite a process, so let's get into it. So what you're going to do first is going to go into your start button, type in CMD, right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes to administrator access. So this will pop up and you're going to type in net start msi server you can see it says windows installer service is starting or started successfully okay so once this is done you're going to close that and you're going to restart your computer okay so after you restart your computer you're going to go into services services and you're going to search for windows update see here windows update you can double click on it or you can right click and click on properties okay so this will pop up and then you're going to go here and click on disabled okay and if you have restarted your pc it will say that it's running okay it'll say it's running so you're going to stop it okay so once it's stopped you can click on apply and okay then we're going to close that then you're going to go into your C drive right here go into your C drive go into Windows scroll down and find for software distribution here software distribution click on it and then whatever data is here you're going to delete this okay you're going to delete this data go back and whatever in your downloads folder just highlight all right click and delete them okay so once you have deleted all of this you can close this open your start button and type in services again scroll down to windows update right here right click properties then here you're going to set it to automatic click on apply and then you're going to start it Okay, click on OK and now you're going to restart your computer again so after restarting your computer you're going to open your start menu again type in Windows update check for updates and click on check for updates and you should have a couple of updates and it will no longer show you that error so that's about it for this video guys if you have any other questions or any other problems please put them down in the comments below and i think that's about it so please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out